Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's rescue Riddell from the prison with Karsh. I decided to switch him in for the storyline just because he's our secret weapon. It's like a secret treasure, except you die. They made him black. You know, once you go black, you never go back. Ah, or you could just eat some seeds. That would work, too. Release your anger. Only your hatred can destroy me. And what is all with all the Star Wars quotes lately? It just They just seem to be coming to me. The, ga the game seems to be giving me the opportunity. So. Oh, well, that's how they got it. Okay. Yeah, someone was mentioning that earlier. Okay. I was wondering how they got the dragon's tear in, in this world. Well, there you go. Yeah, his true self helped Surge find his true self, or lose his true self, or whatever. Nuts. Yeah, he's going to uh, cook you with his mystery meat. Oh, yeah, or we could save her. Uh, we just stole his clothes. Yeah, yeah, he, he's not Lynx. We got a nice mask for him down at the Halloween shop. Yeah, yeah, we, we just want to save the girl. They got her kind of chained up there. At least that's okay. They got her chained up as opposed to putting a big giant iron ball over her head. No soup for you! Or we could become his soup. Well, well there you go, viewers. All right. It's boss time against Hell Orcha or Hell Chef, whatever his name is. Got some badass tattoos going there, too. Hell's Cook. Okay, there you go. Well, pretty much the same strategy as just about every other boss fight, but, or at least ever since I got these buffs. Uh, no diminish necessary, really. It's pretty much pretty standard. I, I don't have a blue elemental with me, just for storyline purposes. Really, uh, the only one I have, I think, is Irene's. Is that? I think she's the only one you can have at this point. But, well, she's just not really that good, I'll be honest with you. So I figured I'd go with some characters who have some better attack power, or more badassery on them. And Karsh is badass. Look at that axe. It's bigger than your head. Come on, Norris. You can do better than that. Nuts. Well, maybe I'll have him use Deluge or something later. Yeah, I've got Deluge. There are some enemies that I wasn't able to demonstrate in the sewers there that are red elemental, which is why I have the Deluges equipped, but... Well, I decided I, I never really encountered them. So, oh well. And I had I didn't get, what was that uh, element that I wanted? The cure-all element. I didn't get that yet. But we'll meet up with more of them later, or we'll go into the sewer again at some point in time. So, we don't need it right now. So, we're just going to have, oh, come on, hit the guy. This is what happens when you don't. Uh, use Eagle Eye on everyone. Oh well. Lynx really ha has all the power there, so. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have Karsh use the Deluge there, and. Yeah, maybe I could show off his. Yeah, let's show off his level 5 tech, why not? He's got some pretty cool techs. Ha! Turns his axe into a boomerang. How badass is that? <laughs> I'm gonna be using Quarsh. Er, Karsh, not Quarsh. He's like Quark's uh, long-lost brother. No, no, Karsh. I'm going to be using him quite a bit in the game just because, you know, he's cool for the storyline, you know? Uh, the other guy, Zoa, eh, not too interesting. I'll be honest with you viewers. I think Karsh and Zoa have a dual tech together, don't they? I forget. And, you know what, let's just stick with the level 3 tech just to keep some element power left over for healing. That should be good enough. The bosses around here really aren't that hard. Or at least so far they aren't. See, will that burn him? No, no, we're okay. Okay. Yeah, he has some tacks that can get you burned, but that's okay. Huh. This guy's taking a lot longer than I remember him taking. Can we have some soup now, Orcha? Yay, we got him. Get a star level? 
Yay! We're at level 28. All right. Maybe use some consumables? No, no, we don't need to. Oh, right, I got a whole bunch more. Hey, it took a little longer than I thought he would, but... Sir Lynx has gone mad! Well, he's a cat. How do you expect to control him? What are you going to do? Uh, you're a chef. I think they just took you because they didn't think you would be caught or something like that. Is he a demi-human too, or is he human? Because I think, or is he related to Orta? It's like he is dad or something? I, I don't know. I don't think they ever mention a relationship between the two, if at all. Sure, why not? More party members! Oh, just wait till we get done with this area of yours. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be insane. But all right, we rescued Riddell, so let's get out of here. How did we get in here? The f oh, yeah, we walked through the front gates. That would be kind of hard to uh, get out of here. Well, weren't you part of the, the invasion or the infiltration or whatever you call it? Oh, okay. Well, I guess they're not going to bother with you. Yay! Does she have red eyes? Huh. Well, anyway, yay! We rescued Riddell. She's a little, uh, what is it? Like, her skin is almost like she's all albino or something. I mean, she's pretty pale there. But then again, I mean, she was hanging by a thread, like, or a chain for a while there. Maybe she lost her circulation or something like that. I think she's always like that, though. Buffoons! Baboon, baboon, baboon! Uh, we'll learn more about baboons in Dragon Warrior 2. Uh, oh, I have nightmares about those guys. Yeah, come on! We could use more Chuck Norrises! Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we can't have two Chuck Norrises. There's only room enough for one in this game. And there's barely enough room for that. I mean, this is a PlayStation game. I mean, Super Nintendo, no way you're fitting Chuck Norris in there, but... PlayStation, okay, we've got enough memory now. Barely, for, for one. Oh, he's going to give us a present. Oh, but not now, when we could actually use it later, when I'm probably not going to be using Chuck Norris too much more. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, let's get out of here, then. Huh? Oh. Oh, so they can escape when we're completely surrounded, but they cannot nuts. Go away. I don't want to give you my money. Stop calling. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Ten seconds before I'm going to do my pause break, I get the call. And what am I going to do? Edit that out? Can you imagine if while Norris is escaping with Riddell back there, you know, he, he gets a call like right in the middle of his escape attempt and like he gets a call from his girlfriend, you know, like, yeah, I'm with another woman. I'm rescuing her. No, I'm not rescuing her from her virginity. She, she was in prison. Okay, well now we gotta fight these guys. Losers. And these guys ought to be pretty easy. One black hole ought to take them out. We, we only have one black hole. And she just left with hers. Okay, so, let's go three, three, black hole. These guys don't have too much HP. I suppose these guys might be okay doppelgangs for Sprig. Uh, it's like a white elemental doppelgang, but there really aren't that many good white elemental doppelgangs. Or at least not at a point in the game when they'd be useful. I think there's some uh, way later in the game, but by then, I really don't care. So, oh well. Yay, we got him. We'll distract the guards with a black hole. That's my plan. Good idea, Lynx. What? Who are you talking to? Oh, it's Growbike. Crap, the, the robot. Uh-oh. Nuts. Now we have to fight him. Well, can we show him that we are stronger? We've got Chuck Norris on our side. 
find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. It's a weird looking bandana.